Hi, it's time for another math easy. So we're going to discuss well further into economics and basically show how calculus you could use it for economics applications and look at marginal cost versus marginal revenue. I'm gonna I'm gonna show in this video that if the profit is a maximum, then marginal revenue has to equal marginal cost. Now, before I get to that, let's just define some terms. Let's call the demand or price function basically the price per item that a company can charge if it sells X. X amount of items and we expect to be decreasing. What this means is that if let's say we're we're uh, selling like I don't know 10 cars or whatnot, this is basically what is the price we're going to sell each car for. So let's say $1,000 or whatnot and then as the number if it decreases to make a profit it needs to increase so if you're only selling one car you need to make a lot of money so you still gotta you gotta make it let's say $5,000. But if, you have, if you're selling 100 cars you could sell them for less money so it should be decreasing function here because you got yeah you, you ha have a lot of cars you probably produce l cost less to make them per per car and you could sell for cheaper okay now given this definition of uh, the price function here basically we have uh, another definition here revenue or sales function this is basically let's say it, the revenue is just how much money you're going to bring in for every time you sell so basically yeah, I just write it down there. Basically, the total revenue or money acquired when you're selling, let's say, if you sell X amount of items, and the price per item is this price function here. Basically, it just times it together. So you, if you have a hundred items that each cost, I don't know, ten dollars, times it together, you're gonna get a thousand. So that's the total revenue here. Now, another definition we're gonna go with is a marginal revenue function. This is just the rate change of the revenue function uh, above here, and it's just a derivative of the revenue function, similar to marginal cost versus the cost function. So yeah, rate of change with respect to the X amount of items sold. And now another definition is, is the total profit or how much actual money we get is basically the, the revenue, the money we bring in minus the cost that we spend on producing the uh, X amount of items. This is the cost function you see in my earlier video on basically more in depth on this. Basically this is just the total profit, just basic revenue minus cost. And now one more definition before I show the uh, above that Profit is max when marginal revenue equals marginal cost. It's basically marginal profit function. It's just a derivative of this function above here. The profit function is just a rate change of it, similar to all the marginal stuff. So whenever there's a marginal, it just means derivative. And now, in order to maximize our profit function, we'll, we need to find the critical numbers here, uh, just like basic, uh, yeah, basic local max min that I showed in my previous video. Let's find the local points here, and this is basically when the derivative is equal to zero here, and I'll show that when the derivative or marginal profit is equal to zero, then it is a max. I'll prove that uh, soon, but so if we do this here, so we're just going to get just a simple p of p prime of x is going to equal 2 marginal revenue minus, so just the derivative of this, minus derivative of the cost function here. So if we set it equal to zero now, this is the marginal profit, then we're going to get, we'll just rearrange this now, yeah, then the marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost here. Yeah, so this is marginal uh, revenue, is marginal cost, and we have proven our above statement, which is basically the profit is a maximum, and marginal revenue equals marginal cost. Basically, now, now to ensure that this is a maximum, well, we'll look at the second derivative test, and basically look at the second derivative of this. So now if we look at the second derivative test, you can see in my drop in, in the video below, in the link on the information below, that you can see my video on what the second derivative test is, and basically what we're going to do is just take the second derivative of the cost function, or we look at the marginal profit, I mean. So the second derivative is just going to be, well, p double prime of x is equal to r, uh, yeah, this is r double prime, so our second derivative of revenue minus second derivative of cost here. And now from this, well, if this was uh, less than zero, then we're going to have, basically, I'll show you what I mean, but first, if this is less than zero, then, let's say, if p double prime of x is less than zero, then then it's concaving down, you're gonna have something like this, and the critical point is where the maximum is, so max. So that that's basically how we, we would use the second derivative test. So if it's less than zero, then we're gonna have, uh, well we rearrange this one, this is a second derivative of this, minus c prime of x, this is less than zero, rearrange this, then we're gonna have the rate change of marginal cost is less than the rate change of, I mean, of marginal revenue is less than marginal cost. 
So in actuality, this is a, the second condition that's required for the buff statement. But this is this is typical in real life because when you're building a lot of when you once you get to a certain amount of uh, items here, let's say this is p of x here, and this is x here, you're gonna have something like this. And and in fact, when you get to a certain amount of x, if you if you build more, the cost of making that much is actually more than your revenue. So you should have something like this, which is concaving down. And this should be a max here. So to just put this to be a more complete, we're going to have to include this as well here. So we'll just write that down. Thus, yeah, basically profit will be a max when the marginal revenue is equal to marginal uh, cost here. And and where the case is usually taken for granted, this one here that the rate change of marginal revenue is less than less than the rate change of marginal cost here. Or if you put in a text form, basically profit is max when marginal revenue equal, equals marginal cost and yeah, rate of increase of marginal revenue is less than rate of increase of marginal cost or it's concaving down. Well, uh, that's all for today. Next video, I'll do uh, examples on this. So hopefully you learn from, from this and showing that in fact, yeah, you have marginal revenue. Yeah, this, this actually should make sense too, that marginal revenue has equal marginal cost because this just means at near the maximum once you're at it, if you have, if marginal cost is, yeah, if it's more than marginal revenue, you're not going to build much. So then you're going to have to lower your X amount of items. But then if marginal revenue is more than marginal cost, then you're going to build more or sell more stuff. So it's going to move to the right. So basically, yeah, you'll have something like this where it would go towards this max here and they should equal. So then if they equal, then you basically stay where you are because it's max. Well, that's all for it. Remember, you can always download these notes in the, in the Dropbox link below and hopefully learned and uh, stay tuned for another math easy solution.